Did you know that Japan, the land of the rising sun, has more elderly people than children? It's a startling revelation that speaks volumes about the nation's demographic landscape. Japan's aging population is not just a statistic, it's a reality that brings with it profound implications. From societal dynamics to economic challenges, this demographic shift is shaping the future of Japan in ways one might not expect. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Japan has more secrets hidden beneath its surface. Ever heard of Kuroshi? It's a Japanese term meaning death from overwork. In the land of the rising sun, where honor and dedication are deeply ingrained in the societal fabric, the concept of Kuroshi is an alarming manifestation of these values taken to the extreme. It's a term that, quite literally, translates to death from overwork. A grim reality, it starkly highlights the severe impact of Japan's intense work culture on its population. The origins of Kuroshi trace back to the post-war era, around the mid-20th century. Japan was in the throes of rapid economic growth and industrialization. The workers, driven by a sense of duty and national pride, toiled for long hours, often at the cost of their health and personal life. This relentless pursuit of productivity gradually morphed into an unhealthy work culture, giving birth to the phenomenon of Kuroshi. The impact of this intense work culture is profound. It's not uncommon for employees to clock in over 60 hours a week, leaving little room for leisure or family time. The stress of excessive work hours coupled with societal pressure excel often leads to a host of health issues, including heart disease, stroke, and mental health problems. In some tragic instances, it pushes individuals to take their own lives. Recognizing the severity of the situation, the Japanese government has taken measures to combat this issue. They've introduced labor laws to cap overtime hours and promote a healthier work-life balance. Yet, the deeply rooted cultural expectations and societal norms continue to pose a formidable challenge to these efforts. The story of Kuroshi is not just about overwork and its fatal consequences. It's a reflection of a society grappling with the balance between tradition and modernity, between productivity and well-being. It's a wake-up call, an urgent reminder of the need to humanize work, to value life beyond productivity. Kuroshi, a chilling reality of Japan's work culture, lays bare the harsh truth about the nation's relentless pursuit of productivity. In Japan, an estimated 6 million people live in complete isolation. A staggering statistic that might seem absurd in the bustling cities of Tokyo or Osaka, yet holds a chilling truth. This is the reality of hikikomori, a term used in Japan to describe individuals who have chosen to withdraw from social life, often seeking ex extreme degrees of isolation and confinement. Hikikomori isn't a new phenomenon, but it's one that's growing, fueled by a cocktail of societal pressures and cultural factors that are unique to Japan. The country's intense focus on conformity, academic achievement, and rigid societal roles often leads individuals, particularly young men, to feel overwhelmed and outcast. This sense of alienation can drive them to retreat into a world where they feel safe, yet are utterly alone. Imagine a life spent within the confines of a single room, sometimes for years, or even decades, on end. The outside world becomes an alien landscape filled with potential threats and insurmountable challenges. The room, however confining, provides a sanctuary, a haven from the pressures of a society that seems impossible to navigate. But the hikikomori phenomenon isn't just about individuals. It's a mirror reflecting the pressures of Japanese society as a whole. A society where success is often measured by narrow standards, where the fear of failure can be paralyzing, and where the cost of not fitting in can be a life spent in solitude. The government has taken steps to address this issue, implementing programs to help reintegrate hikikomoris into society. But the path to reintegration is fraught with challenges, and for many, the comfort of solitude outweighs the fear of the unknown. In the end, the hikikomori phenomenon provides a stark reminder of the human cost of societal pressures and cultural expectations. It's a sobering look at the isolation that can result when individuals feel they don't fit into the world around them. Hikikomori, a haunting reflection of Japan's social dynamics, unveils another layer of the country's hidden truths, a truth that reminds us that the pursuit of conformity can sometimes lead to the loneliest of societies. Japan, the only country to have suffered nuclear attacks, is still grappling with the consequences. 
The echoes of the past resonate deeply in the present. A haunting reminder of the devastation caused by the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in the waning days of World War II. The destructive power of nuclear energy was further underscored by the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster in 2011, an event that once again brought the issue of nuclear safety to the forefront. The aftermath of these nuclear incidents has left an indelible mark on Japan's landscape and its people. The effects of the bombings were immediate and horrendous, with hundreds of thousands of lives lost in a matter of moments. But the pain didn't end there. The survivors, known as Hibakusha, have had to live with the physical and psychological scars, many suffering from radiation-related illnesses and the social stigma attached to being a bomb survivor. Fast forward to the present day and the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster has added another layer to the nuclear narrative of Japan. The triple meltdown at the power plant resulted in massive amounts of radioactive waste, a problem that the nation is still struggling to manage. The cleanup efforts are ongoing, but the task is monumental and the risks are high. The public health concerns are equally daunting. Despite the government's assurances, many Japanese citizens remain skeptical about the safety of the food grown in the affected areas and the long-term health effects of radiation exposure. The fear of another nuclear disaster also looms large in the public consciousness, a fear that is not unfounded given the country's seismic activity and reliance on nuclear energy. The nuclear aftermath, a grim reminder of Japan's past, exposes the nation's ongoing struggle with its nuclear legacy. It serves as a stark warning of the destructive power of nuclear energy when it's not properly controlled and a testament to the resilience of the Japanese people as they continue to grapple with the consequences of these nuclear tragedies. Japan's notorious crime syndicate, the Yakuza, operates openly with an estimated membership of 30,000. A shocking revelation, isn't it? Yet this is the reality of the Japanese underworld. The Yakuza, also known as Gokudo, are members of transnational organized crime syndicates originating in Japan. The Yakuza are not clandestine organizations like their counterparts in other parts of the world. They have office buildings, carry business cards, and in some cases, are even registered with the Japanese government. Their activities range from gambling, drugs and prostitution, to loan sharking, protection rackets, and white-collar crime. The influence of the Yakuza in Japanese society is profound. It stretches into the entertainment industry, real estate, and even politics. They wield significant power, and their reach is far and wide. The Yakuza are deeply rooted in the Japanese culture and society, and their influence is felt in various aspects of everyday life. But the Yakuza are not without their codes and rules. The members follow a strict hierarchy and code of conduct that dictates their actions. They are known for their elaborate tattoos, a symbol of their commitment and loyalty to the organization. The Japanese government, in recent years, has been making concerted efforts to curb the activities of the Yakuza. Laws have been enacted, making it illegal to do business with Yakuza members. There are also concerted efforts to crack down on their sources of income and reduce their influence on society. Yet, despite these measures, the Yakuza remain a formidable force in the Japanese underworld. Their resilience and adaptability have allowed them to survive and even thrive in the face of adversity. The Yakuza, an open secret of Japan's society, uncovers the country's darker side. They are a paradox, a part of the society, yet operating outside the norms. The Yakuza's existence and influence reveal a different facet of Japan's culture and society, a facet that is often hidden from the world. Japan, a nation of contrasts, is a mix of the beautiful and the baffling. This intricate blend of cultural richness and societal paradoxes paints a picture that is as fascinating as it is perplexing. In our exploration, we've unveiled the shocking secret of Kuroshi, death from overwork, a grim testament to Japan's extreme work culture. The relentless pursuit of productivity has led to a society where work is not just a means to an end, but an end in itself, often with tragic consequences. We've delved into the loneliness epidemic, a silent crisis that is ironically birthed from one of the world's most densely populated nations. This isolation epidemic, intensified by an aging population, is a wake-up call about the importance of social connectivity and community. 
We've also navigated the aftermath of the nuclear accident, a haunting reminder of the potential perils of technological advancement. It's a secret scar, a chilling testament to the indelible impact of man's ambition on nature and humanity. Then there's the underworld of the Yakuza, a shadowy side of Japan that belies its reputation for safety and order. This criminal underbelly, often romanticized in pop culture, is a stark contrast to the serene surface of Japanese society. These secrets, hidden beneath the veneer of Japan's prosperity, reveal a complex society grappling with a multitude of challenges. As we pull back the curtain, we see a Japan that is not just the land of cherry blossoms and sushi, but a nation wrestling with deep-seated social issues.